what it do? What's up, your girl G here? Welcome back to my channel. Coming to talk to you guys really fast about loving hip hop Atlanta. Y'all, this season um, is doing pretty well. It's definitely hitting the blogs, going viral, you know, giving us some, you know, extreme moments that are causing, you know, a lot of uh, conversations that definitely need to be had. Um, but as we get further along in this season, Spice. That, like, that's the only, like, I don't even have words for it. I just got, I'm just like, ugh. Like, Spice, why are you acting like this? Like, seriously, these past two episodes, I'm just, like, disgusted. Disgust. And it's not that what Erica did was wrong. Like, Erica is a whole nother entity that, like, I'm, I'm disgusted with, too. But, like, Spice, like... Ugh. I did not like the way she was acting at all, y'all. But let's um uh go ahead and, and get into the episode. Um, so we open up with Bambi, y'all. Bambi's trying to get back in the music industry. She's basically talking about how her and Scrappy, you know, when they first got together, she was doing music, but then, you know, she popped out three babies back to back to back, you know. <laughs> Bike to bike to bike, all right? And then just when they go cheat on her and hang around with Diamond in the hotel room and she's steady when to act like she ain't no mis no mistress because uh, she had him first. Basically, Diamond's trying to pull the, he's mine, you made a hand of one spot, I got him all the time. You know, that's what, ben, but that's what Diamond's trying to pull. But at the end of the day, whether you had him first or not, he put a ring on Bambi, so that by term makes you a mistress. Hello? <laughs> you might not want to accept it, but boo-boo, that is the reality of it. Um, but yeah, so Bambi, she's, you know, do right by me. It was kind of like a cute little hook, you better do right by me. Because uh, that's what you really got to do with these niggas, until you do right by me, Okay. Uh, Chaotic was looking at Bambi like, yo, you look good, girl. And I forgot who was is behind him like, you like Bambi. Or like, you think she fine? He was like, huh? No. Nah. He was like, don't you be trying to not you over here hitting on your man's ex, soon to be ex-wife. Um, I don't think he was, uh, hitting on Bambi, but he definitely was looking at her like a specimen, you know, like a, like the, the bad woman that she is. Cause Bambi is bad. Like. She's a very beautiful woman, um, especially after having three kids. Like, she looked good. Um, but Chaotic's face was just, it had me rolling. Uh, you know, Scrappy gonna be upset because Scrappy's, are, uh, from last episode, he in the mode of like, oh, you following Bambi, you talking to Bambi, like, basically that you acted like my op, you know, if you still F with her. And it's kind of like, Scrappy, you're the one who messed this up. Like, for real, for real, you're the one who messed this up. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, moving on. Um, Rashida and Yandy, they go to, like, this waterfall. Uh, it was very, very pretty. Uh, you know, just to get out in, in nature, walk, talk a little bit, de-stress after, you know, the restaurant and them going back and forth with each other. Kirk and Rashida, they was fighting with each other. So, you know, they needed a moment to decompress. So they sit down with Yandy and DC. I know Yandy and DC's kind of been having their little cameos in and out of the season. And, you know, they're basically checking up on each other. You know, how's marriage going, life. Um, you know, Kirk was like, shoot, me and Rashida was basically, you know, we was throwing darts at each other. You know, she was my enemy for a little bit, but now we good. The restaurant's reopened. Everything's, you know, straight and, you know. Her birthday getting ready to come up, so I want to, you know, do something right for her. So, he's throwing a pajama jam, and I love that idea, like a pajama party. Like, I would love to do, like, a house party theme, birthday party. That would just be, like, my, and just pajamas, 90s and early thousands music all night. Like, I definitely would just, like, or, like, a, either, like, a house party theme or, like, a throwback party theme. Um, where you dress like, you know, like throwback, uh, pick a, pick an era or time and like dress that era, um, or like party of the ages, you know, I feel like that'd be a cute idea. Um, but yeah, no, nonetheless, see, he wants to throw like a little pajama jam, but you know, they're in comp, you know, uh, they are talking about the, 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 the list of people they want to invite and you know.
know, Rashida's is kind of like, you know, I want Spice to be there. Uh, but you, I don't want no drama. So, you know, Sp of course I want Spice to be there. But, you know, Erica, you know, she wildin'. I don't know if you heard about the fight that her and Spice had. And Andy's like, yeah, girl. Um, you know, I'm really kind of disappointed in Erica from the sounds of it. You know, Spice told me that she threw the table into her stomach. Um, yeah, she flipped it. <laughs> yeah, like she, she didn't do like Kate Michelle. Uh, you know, shake the table. She didn't shake the table, but she flipped it, okay? And so she was like, yeah, she flipped it into Spice's stomach and talked about, girl, you should have, you should have been out of here. You should have, okay, but out um and so yandy basically was like disappointed like that's you know the route that erica took and where she was like yeah girl she said more today you know let just was talking about you know black monkey blue monkey you know whatever and so now kirk is like so we calling you calling your black friends monkeys now like you know it don't give you no right to be calling people monkeys just because you like black okay hawk all right, just because you like BBC don't give you the right to, um, you know, feel like you can talk shit about black people, you know? You're not a part of the culture because you have black babies. And that's just one thing that the easiest way that women of other cultures, you know, want to be a, get to be invited to the cookout is by hopping on black hook and, um, you know, having babies, you know? These, these niggas is, is, is simple minded and vulnerable and easy to take advantage of. Um, and so, yeah, so she got these two black babies and I heard, and a black man that she got impregnated by, but I heard call them black women monkeys. And that's because typically in general, just we all know the per, the persuasions, the preferences, you know, the women, they always get uplifted by, you know, black men and that's what makes them feel like, you know, they're up here and we're, you know, down here type situations. But then we all get treated like us. Y'all want to come running back to us like, oh my God, like help me. And it's kind of like, bitch, you want help from us? How about a, I told you so show? I told you so, helpful. That nigga wasn't going to do you no better. But nonetheless, um, Eric, Yandy's very disappointed and she definitely... She's like, I need to talk to Erica, like, because that's my friend. Like, we've developed a friendship over the years, and I'm just really disappointed. Like, that's what she was saying, you know? Um, so, uh, moving on. Uh, what happened after that? Um, I feel like something happened after that, before the party. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think, let me think. Was that the party immediately after that? I think so. Okay, so we get to the party. Um, and super cute, decorations on point. Like, it definitely was super, super cute. Spice shows up with her hair, the blue hair, and them, and them blue rollers. Um, <laughs> why is this ironically, why is the roller headset when the spice is better looks. That says a lot. The fact that her hair is in a roller set and it's probably one of the better looks that she's had is a problem. Spice your wigs, you tell my you made it and everything. Your hair is looking like you haven't made it yet still. That's a problem. Like we need to we need to do better with the hair, ma'am. Um but yeah so um everybody's showing up um chaotic he has surgery you know he's showing his hip hip and something wrong with his hip um but everybody's getting there showing up and so sierra's there sierra shows up and you know goes around makes her rounds to say hi to everybody goes to say hi to see uh to spice and she gives him a hey you know and so it was spicy and her confession, like, I don't know what Ciara, you know, I, I don't know what kind of energy I'm going to get from her because, you know, I know she's, you know, uh, that's her best friend. So I got to take it, you know, accordingly. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of energy, you know, Ciara is going to give me today. And it's like, I, I've been like, I seriously, like, and her confession was like, I don't like what Spice is doing because it's like, girl, yeah, I'm friends with Erica, but don't automatically be putting that energy, like, on me. And that's what Spice was doing to Erica and Bambi this episode. Like, it was straight garbage. It was trash the way Spice 
was just acting. Like, it was nasty. It was ugly. And it was giving real Trina based. Like, her attitude was just giving real stank. Like, Trina stank. So, uh, Sierra was sitting out talking to Yandy Medici and Spice. And she's like, yeah, girl, it was my birthday yesterday. I can get a birthday from you, you, or you. And Yandy and Medici, they didn't know. You know, so they was like, oh, you know, my bad. Happy belated. And Spice was like, well, girl, I didn't know how you, how, what type of, what time and energy you was on. And Sierra was like, come on now, Spice. Like, we tell each other happy birthday every year. This year ain't no different. Like, that's you and Erica's beef. Like, why would you think that, like, now all of a sudden I got a problem with you? And so, um, Sierra basically was like, you know, Erica told me about the fight. And, you know, the things that she said, I don't agree, I don't agree with her talking about, oh, you know, you should have been off. You know, I, I don't agree with that. She was dead wrong. But Spice, you ain't it. She's like, I'm not getting between the fight because, like, y'all both was wrong. And I'm glad Sierra, because, like, she was like, I didn't. Because all Spice wants to sit there and say was, I didn't talk about her child. I did not talk about her child. I said, I talked about her and her, and, uh, her child and, uh, like her, and, uh, and, her, and her parenting. Like, yes. It might not have been about her child. You were taking a jab at her parenting. But at the end of the day, you know it was a dig. And it was trying to, you know, take... A, you were trying to take a jab at Erica. Why are you acting like what you said? Is it negative or something that would cause a negative response? Because had Erica flipped it and reversed it, okay? Put the thing down, flip it and reverse it. Had she said that shit to you, you would be mad. For real, for real. You would be mad. Has she said anything remotely like, oh, you know, you don't take care of kids, that's why they in Jamaica, she would automatically be like, oh, don't bring, don't bring my kids up. You would take it as such too. So Spice, cut it the fuck out. Um, so I just don't like that she's going around acting like what she said just because she wants to play semantics of, oh, I didn't talk about her child. Just because you don't play semantics of that doesn't negate the fact that what you said was negative it was harsh and it was meant to be hurtful you meant for it to be hurtful um and so sierra called out like spice what you said was wrong like quit playing you know that was hurtful and so she's like yeah but she said a bunch of other things you know she called me a black monkey and so sierra was like wait a minute monkey like sierra's face was just like monkey <laughs> wait a minute like and so Sierra was like, she did not tell me that. Like, yeah, she called me. And of course, Erica wasn't going to say that. I actually believe that Erica called Sierra and Baby right after the fight. But we all know Erica did not tell her black friends that she called Spice a monkey. That information definitely was opted out. Um, so, um, so, um, um. So, what happened after that? So, Rashida and Kirk actually end up sitting down. And they're basically just kind of like, you know, this definitely needs to be resolved. Sarah's like, this needs to be resolved. Had she said that, you know, I definitely need to talk about her. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, this beef is between y'all, Spice. Don't be trying to put, like, you know, that energy on me. Like, I got beef with you, too, because I don't. So, Kirk. Um, you know, basically lets everybody know, like, hey, we're going to the Bahamas. Get ready. Get your bikinis and your swimming trunks. You know, I want to take everybody to the Bahamas, a.k.a. cash trip. Um, and so Rashida doesn't want to be weird for Bam because she wants, you know, Scrappy to come to. They call, let her know. Just let you know, bitch, I'm going on a trip. And your baby daddy going to be there. And, and baby's like, girl, I need a break. It don't matter if he's there or not. You know, I'm going to just take the Bahama breeze and, you know, try to get some relaxation in the sun. Um, so, um, oh, that's the scene that I, I missed. Erica, Erica, she's on the set of Hush. Uh, it got a second season. Um, and you know, she's still acting and whatnot, you know, on her mommy duties. So she's in the trailer with her friend, you know, with the kids and everything like that. And she basically was talking about, you know, the beef with Spice. She's basically like, you know, I'm feeling some type of way because Spice sitting there talking about my son and of course, Erica's gonna, Erica keeps focusing on the fact of like, oh, my son doesn't want to be in the limelight. I'm going to do, you know, my damnedest to make sure he's not in the limelight. You know, I'm going to make sure that happens. Cool, understood. But I think there is this understanding of 
previously was it her son that like how did this all start can somebody pinpoint down in the comments of when this all started and who it started by that erica wasn't taking care of her son or that he felt some type of way about her you know obviously not being there basically dropping her off at the grandparents and you know dipping you know it's obvious that she, i think the son lives in new york with the grandparents if i'm not mistaken so if she's gone working and living in Atlanta, you know, here's another reason why she's not in, in, in New York, you know? Um, yeah, I, I can't remember where it originated from, but y'all drop down in the comments if y'all know. But nonetheless, it has been a reoccurring theme of hearing like, Erica, yeah, you got a son, but are you really taking care of him like that is the thing. Um, but she was like, you know, she keep coming for me and I know. And so the friend was like, where the freak did she get that from? And she's like, I know she got it from Safari. I know, I know. She's like, I didn't even have a, spy, a problem with Spice until Safari, which I we all know that Safari purposely finds ways to pin Erica and fights against other women. He gets women to fight Erica in ways that he can't as a man and so she's like i know she got it from him because when we be getting into it and you know it's always brought about how he's a deadbeat father he always throws my favorite like if i'm a deadbeat but you a deadbeat too like you ain't take care of your son so she's like that's exactly what he's always throwing my face when he gets upset so i know that's what he told her and to, and to find out that her husband her previous husband a man that she was with is throwing stuff like that in her face like i mean it don't surprise me but it just goes to show like the character of of safari you know um but erica girl we not finna do this we not finna do the oh i blacked out i can't even remember what i said but you know what you said because in the next scene in your confessional you talking about oh you know um i can't remember but i just know like I definitely said some things that was hurtful and in the heat of the moment, you know, I just was saying whatever because I was hurt and definitely, you know, went to a place that I shouldn't have and I'm definitely not proud of that. So it's like, you know, bitch, yeah, you might have blacked out and in anger, absolutely believe you, you know, you were just letting shit fly. Like you were just letting shit fly, but that's the problem. When you're upset and letting shit fly, that's typically when your truest self is revealed and your truest self erica we know that you believe you better than black women and you look at people like spice like dark with strong features as a monkey which is why you did all the hooping and hollering and ooh ah ah we know how you truly feel you know but we not finna do that i blacked out i don't remember but then two seconds later be like you know i said some things that definitely was you know, out of pocket. Uh, and it was so like, how you know that though? I thought you said you had amnesia. Like, you said you didn't remember. So Erica, let's not, but y'all, I will give it. Erica looked good in that scene without all the makeup and the natural fresh face. Like, Erica looked really good in that scene. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so, um, yeah, Safari set her up. Safari put a battery and spice back and you know, now all of a sudden he'll be talking about, oh, my mom, my, you know, my, she's still my baby's mother and all type of stuff like that. Shut up. Shut up. If she lose her job and now your ass got to pay more and take care of them kids more because she can't afford it, it's on your ass, okay? All right? I mean, it's not on you, but it is on you because you incited something and this possibly wouldn't have gone down had it not been for you running your damn mouth over there to spice we'll talk about this um later on so yeah everybody's going to the bahamas um you know turning up shikata everybody had their plus one um carly she came she said we're not gonna be sober it's gonna be a trip of not being sober y'all i like when they took that little shot glass and it was like that little the little pipe thing of gray goose and amy took that bitch to the head sierra was like amy <laughs> Why you was you shy? This that bitch, I ain't trying to be sober. And Amy went, boy, she tipped that bitch back. And Sierra just looked at amazement like, Amy. <laughs> that shit took me out. So, 
they're on the way to the house and you know bambi basically you know i know scrap gonna be here but i don't give a damn i'm not even attracted to it no more like i'm just disgusted when i'm done i'm done um and you know she got fielded obviously sierra told her like you know this is what erica said and they basically like i don't want to believe it like girl you got black kids black friends like i mean damn like would, would my friend really say some effed up stuff like that you know so uh shakai and spice and all them they end up meeting rashida and kirk at they you know they vacation home or whatnot chaotic and his dumb ass talking about shakai go first she's like i'm a man i'm a man you know he want her to go first so he can look at that ass basically that's when it, that's what it was given to me <laughs> So they go in, of course, Spice is there, and this is the time for them to break down, once again, the beefage, you know, between Spice and, and Erica. Spice all loud, because this bitch right here, she forced me, she forced me, that's what she kept saying, she forced me to talk to her. Shut up, Spice. It ain't no force. The producers forced you to sit down. Shut up. Um, so Shekinah's like, she, wait a minute, <laughs> are you gonna let me talk? Are you gonna let me talk? <laughs> so she's like, it started because Erica called me. Erica called me. It was like, that's my friend. I want to talk. You know, I don't want to be with Spice. Let's talk. They sit down and she's like, these two devils went at each other. And, you know, Erica had the nerve to say, you know, all that type of stuff. And Spice going off and they yelling back and forth. Spice. That's what she told me. You calling me black monkey. And, you know, and Kirk is like, I'm a black man. Of course, Chaotic's like, I've experienced, you know, racism and things like that. Being a black man, especially them being on the darker end of the spectrum. Of course, I'm sure they probably experienced, you know, racist comments. Um, so, you know, Spice is definitely trying to rally everybody to feeling a certain way about Erica. Like, for real, for real. Um, Sierra and Bambi, they basically meet up real quick before, um, uh, you know, sitting down to eat with everybody. And basically, they like, look, you know, we're not going to try to beef with, with anybody spicy on vacation. You know, obviously, we'll handle the Erica situation with care. Um, you know, uh, we're going to have to talk to Erica when we get back. But as of right now, like, let's not try to get into it. So everybody showed up to the dinner, you know. Carly look cute, Amy. She looking at chaotic like my friend. You look, you looking good. So much so they was in the confessional asking Amy. So is there nothing you ain't nothing between you and chaotic? And she talking about hell no. Nah, but girl, Amy, if chaotic pushed up on you and you was drunk and y'all on vacation, cause uh, chaotic is with it. He told my, you know, right now I'm monogamous to Erica, but you know what, Amy, what happens in the Bahamas stays in the Bahamas. That that's not monogamous chaotic this is that nigga logic that just be trying to get them out of just get them out of stuff how you monogamous for talking about at the same time what happens in bahamas stays in bahamas so everybody's showing up they sit down and um spice show up last with that ugly ass wig god dang looking like oompa loompa um looking like god dang violet uh, beauregard um but yeah so um uh what's her name yandy basically asked baby like so baby have you talked to erica she was like yeah you know she was like you know i have you know you know but she's been working a lot so i haven't really got a chance to talk to her like in an extent you know obviously about everything that happened there goes spice over there oh really you ain't talked to your best friend just being real passive aggressive i hate Y'all, there's more than anything I hate passive aggressive behavior. I hate it with a passion. So when she was over there doing that, like, I just felt the blood boiling. So, um, Bambi was like, yeah, you know, I, I haven't really talked to her. Um, but she's like, you know, Sierra told me about what was said. You know, off the wall cuff said that Erica, you know, was talking about. So I definitely need to talk to my friend about that, you know. And so Spice was like, oh, so you ain't talked to your friend? And she was like, no, like I talked to her, but I didn't get a chance to talk to her about everything because, you know, she's been working busy. We haven't had time to really talk about the stuff. So Spice is like, that's a lie. That's a lie. Like she feels like I know she called you after the fight. You're not listening, bitch. She said that she talked to her, but not an extent about the fight. Erica didn't tell them heifers about, you know, you being called a monkey. 
But the energy that Spice was on is the same energy she showed up to the conversation with Erica. It was that you're not looking for resolution. You're not looking for peace. You are looking to beef with these hoes. Did you get a bonus? I'm confused because why all of a sudden it's like she's all hyped up all of a sudden on Mountain Dew. So she's like, oh, you just so fake. And so baby's like, what are you calling fake? And she's like, I'm not talking to you. You want to talk to me? I'm not even talking to you. And so they start going back and forth. Spice start calling Bambi a bitch. And, and uh, Spice is like, Bambi was just like, girl, who are you talking to? And so Sierra's like, wait, 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 wait. Like, you know, I'm a black girl. Like, you know, Erica, if she said that, like, no, like, it's off the wall. But you really mad at her for some shit that Safari started. And she's like, you want to blame everybody else? No, we're not going to do that. You want to blame everybody else? And it's like, Safari did start it. Safari did start it, Spice. But you don't want to admit the fact that you that you're all riled up over something that Safari told you. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm glad Sierra pointed that out. And it's not a coincidence to me that Safari picked the, mo the woman that's on the farthest other end of the spectrum to Erica. That's not a coincidence. It's not. It's not. It's not. He's probably heard Erica say some things about Spice behind the scenes and was looking for a way to reveal that or cause beef between a woman like Spice with Erica purposely. He wants the woman to beef on his behalf and that's what's happening. And so now, you know, Sarah kind of gets him to calm down. But Bam is like, yo, what is your problem with me? Like, what is up? Like, speak your peace. And now Spice, oh, now you want to talk to me? Bitch, what is it? You want to talk to me now? You want to talk to me? Let's talk, bitch. Like, let's talk. And it's like, wait a minute. Spice, if you do not get the out of here with this attitude, like, if I was Bam, be like, girl, you sitting there talking about you want to talk about me, but you said y'all hoes so fake. Y'all, as in plural, as in multiple, and you look in my direction, so bitch, I'm confused. Like, who are you talking to? And so it kind of ends right there with Spice Bitch and Giraffe and all type of stuff. And it's just like, it was nasty. Like, I was just so disgusted with Spice. But y'all drop down in the comments and tell me what you feel about the episode. Do you guys feel like Spice is starting to get out of bounds? Is she recruiting people to be upset at Erica? Yes, yeah, understood. But the way Spice is going about it, I ain't liking it. Do you guys uh, believe that Erica told um, Bambi and Sierra about calling uh, Spice a monkey or not? Nah? Y'all feel like she left that pertinent information out. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm going to catch you later.